stir fry pan. I'm just going to quickly stir fry one medium sized zucchini. Continuing to stir fry the zucchini. I don't want it to cook until it's mush, but I do want it to cook just tender. So um, you can decide whether you want to stir fry that in oil or butter or margarine. Totally your choice on taste. You can season with a little pepper and salt if you please. Um, but if not, just a little pepper. And like I say, just stir fry it until it gets just tender enough where you can stick a fork through it. And you don't want it to get mush because you're going to be adding all of that back into the pan. Then to cook just enough where um, I can get a fork through it and it keeps sticking out so this is really done. And uh, very tasty. So next in the pan is my yellow squash. And as you can see, I still have two little zucchini in there that wasn't tender enough. But um, now we're doing the yellow squash. And that should just take not even probably two minutes of stir frying um, to get those tender. And like I said, you slice them all the same size and somewhat not too thin because you don't want them to be mushy. At first, if you're going to have any for leftovers, you have to heat it a second day. Okay. So we'll be back. We're going to continue to stir fry that. You do yours, and we'll be back. Okay, now we're sauteing the onions for this meal. I have the onions and the sweet banana peppers in the same, in the pan at the same time, sauteing that. So just get them to that where the onions are somewhat translucent and a little brown. Like I said, you don't want to overcook anything because you do want to be able to taste it and not have it too slimy. <laughs> so we'll be back. So I have decided to do the green onion or bell pepper and the bush bean together since I'm not using too much of the bush thing. And I'm um, just going to get that again tender and the green peppers to become somewhat just tender. I've added the last three ingredients, which is my whole almond, my water chestnut, here we go, and my pineapple. All the vegetables back in the pan. And get my arm over here. So pour up my now thickened sweet and sour sauce. I did add a little cornstarch to this to help it to get thick and the meal will be ready. I'm just going to dump the sweet and sour sauce over it. And right now you actually need smell-o-vision. Look at that. 